The entire concept of value is so weird. It used to be that people would trade things. I give you a fish and you give me bread. I give you a couple cows and you give me your daughter. I give you a copy of Sonic 06 and you call the police. Nowadays, we trade money for items, but some items have transcended the idea of value just for functional purposes. Which brings us to the topic of today's video, shoes. Now, I was never that into shoes, but it's undeniable that shoes have become much more than a thing of functionality. If there's an object, right, then there's a community of people collecting it, and shoes are a big one. Right after Pokemon cards. You know, back in the day, and today, Air Jordans were the thing. The biggest fashion statement back in elementary school, which... Looking back on it, what the fuck? I went to school in a rural New England town and there were little dinguses wearing Air Jordans to school which makes me question the kid's parents. Like, dude, what the fuck are you doing giving your kid Jordans? That little bastard is gonna go behind the rec center after day and spend his lunch money on a crumb of pot to sniff. And you gave them Air Jordans. Now, move on to high school. The big shoe thing was Yeezys, which again, we went to a high school in a rural New England town and there were kids wearing Yeezys. On occasion, uh, selling fake Yeezys to the international students, which... I wish I was making that last part up, but my point is that shoes are important to people, so... What about the shoes in our favorite video games? Now for us, shoes can make or break an outfit, but for video game characters, uh, shoes tend to go unnoticed for most mainly because the big design choices go into what the player will regularly be looking at. I mean, let's be honest, you think of the Dovahkin and you think of the Iron Helmet with the horns, you look at Assassin's Creed and you think of the cool Assassin's robes, you look at Sonic and- oh wait! You look at Sonic and you see his shoes and think, damn, those things is icy, look kinda pricey, shit's attacking my psyche. I ran out of rhymes, and I fucking hate myself, but seriously. Sonic along with his edgy counterpart are some of the only video game characters where their shoes actually stand out as an important piece of the character art. And the best part is, they're just red and white runners that contrast with his blue color scheme. Let's look at this picture of Sonic. I'm going to do some mad editing shit to change the shoes and you're going to be extremely bothered by the difference. Not the same, is it? These shoes are every bit as important as the blue on Sonic. Now moving on to Shadow. Obviously, since he's everything that Sonic isn't, he has an inverted white to red color scheme on his shoes. There are also rockets that enable him to glide over the ground, which is so stupid, but it adds so much more to him, so he's not just emo Sonic. I mean, damn. Sonic stealing your girlfriend and Shadow's plowing your mom, and you're watching because these shoes are such amazing articles of clothing that you just can't help but let them do it. Now obviously, since it's a shoe video, we gotta talk about how much cash these things cost. Sonic's gotta be at least 2.5 million, just because it's Sonic. You know, he's got that star power to make his shoes be valuable. Whereas Shadow's gotta be at least 10 million or more because they literally let you fly. Plus he's the second most popular Sonic character and now we get a look at the rival franchise. Mario and his shoes and oh my god. What's this bullshit? I know my man's a plumber but these are actual work shoes. You already look weird with an ugly face but he has $20 work shoes from Walmart. And his loser brother Luigi has the same fucking kicks! Let's do another edit to see how much different Mario and Luigi look with their shoes being altered. Can't spot the difference, can you? It is a completely different video to complain about how bizarre Mario and Luigi look, but seriously, who the hell thought these shoes were okay to put in? These are the type of shoes, along with the mustache, that pedophiles wear when they're hiding beneath your chair to sniff your feet. And yet Mario's are worth at least one of Jeff Bezos's vacation homes because he's Mr. Video Games, the face of Nintendo, and a whole bunch of childhood memories. His star power, just like Sonic, gives his shoes value. Luigi isn't nearly as successful as his brother, so his kicks are worth about two cents. 
Sorry, Luigi, if you aren't successful, then your typhoid shoes aren't worth shit. Lastly, I want to look at the ultimate black sheep of popular 3D platformers, and I'm only going to say it once. Jesus fuck Christ, he looks like a homeless crackhead. Here's my biggest problem, and I want to take it back to Mario. These shoes are dirty, gross, and I don't like them, but they're noticeable because they clash with all the other colors on Mario. Crash has red shoes to blend with his Cheeto skin, and I can't even tell what brand these things are. Are these red Adidas? Are they Vans? They're worth two dollars. Plus HIV. Okay, now Coco. God damn it, dude, she actually has some nice shoes going on here. They aren't exactly expensive looking, you know, there's nothing really cool about them, but they have a nice uh, purple to contrast with the rest of her colors. So when we factor in that she, along with Tana, created furries, has a name behind her, and assuming that she's a gamer girl, she probably could fetch a good $1,200.69 for her shoes, which is precisely more than what I could get for my used Tamarin Adidas kicks. Now Jasper. 